Hello, uh, this is just a quick video to run through how I put together my personal favourite way of making a bulletproof coffee. In the blog post below we'll have a look at the ingredients and talk about why it's so very healthy. Um, and without further ado, some of the gear that I use, we've got the Magi Mix blender. You need a blender uh, to emulsify the, the fats that you're putting into it so they don't have that greasy on the lip mouthfeel uh, that makes it not quite like normal coffee. This is amazing, this is your friend in that regard. I've got my organic Ceylon uh, cinnamon, which is just a little bit. It's just going to focus in there so you can get a look at it. It's beautiful, absolutely very, very healthy and good for you. And we'll explain why in the blog post. We've got our extra virgin organic, not in focus, um, coconut oil, which is again very, very good for you. And we'll explain why in the blog post and that's one of the reasons we need the blender and our salted unsalted i should say grass-fed butter healthy saturated fats we'll explain why in the blog post i've got this one locally you could use kerrygold unsalted as another grass-fed butter um also we've got coffee fresh lovely coffee that i wish you could smell but um you know what coffee is i don't uh I try to avoid sugar as much as possible for all sorts of reasons, but I found something called Natria, which is a fabulous substitute. Stick it on the porridge, it's granular, you know, it's a, bit, a little bit sweeter than sugar, it's stevia based. Um, again, one of, the, uh, one of the problems that you have with the artificial sweeteners like aspartame and of course the insulin spikes you'd like to get with your um, sugar. So we've got a fresh press, put it all together, and this is the um, I'll just move the camera down here. This is the kettle that I use and I'm going to put on now. And I love this particular Bosch kettle because I can put, set the temperature to 80 degrees if I want perfect water temperature for um, green tea and I set it to 90 degrees for my coffee um, because that's the way I want that. So there we go, kettle's boiling and we're ready to go. Okay, my water's boiled. I've, uh, I've put a, a, a uh, about a dessert spoon of... Um, Coffee is just for me, I'm on my own, all lonely as usual. Um, and probably a half a teaspoon of the cinnamon into my press. My water's boiled, so I'm going to put the water in the press. Just, you know, enough for maybe one and a half cups for me. I'm going to give that just a, a, little, a little turn. More of a habit with the tea leaves, to be honest. I suppose give it a stir with the. Okay, because yes, I do my green tea in there as well. So we'll let him sit for about three minutes. And over here, I put these things here: my unsalted butter and my organic um, coconut oil into my magic mix. So there they are. Probably about um, it's about a dessert spoon and a half of the coconut oil, and just over a teaspoon. Um, and a half perhaps of the butter. It's a just to taste, you know. I mean, we'll discuss in the blog post the amounts of these fats and the things that, and things that you need to make a difference. This is just one way of putting some of the, 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 the kind of um, the recommended amount of these fats into your diet. There's all sorts of other ways, you know, in, in terms of adding it to your food and, and, and so on. Uh, so we'll just take a brief pause while that brews and then we'll do the final bit. Okay, our coffee's just about ready. Final step is to give it a little press. So it's only enough for me just for our experiment. So bear in mind I'm one handed. Not every day, just when I'm running a camera. So we put our coffee into our, our cinnamon infused coffee into our magic mix. There we go. And you can see that's in there now with all the fats. And of course, if you try to mix that with a spoon or even a whisk, it's, it's gonna, you know, you're gonna be wanting to feel like you wanna skim the top. So, put the lid on. And, away we go. Let's just about do it. So give that a quick, uh, in there and you'll see it's not unlike a latte 
No fat sitting on the top, nice bit of froth. And there she is. Beautiful. And it tastes delicious. I mean, honestly, once you've had, uh, once you've had Bulletproof, you find it very hard to go back, trust me. All right, guys, give it a go. Let me know how you get on, any problems, give me a shout. And uh, feel free to experiment as your own touches. As I say I've got a bit of a sweet tooth, so I will bung a little bit of uh, natfear in there. Um, and that's it. That will suppress my appetite for a while, give me a bit of extra energy. And I don't just mean from the caffeine, but from the, um, from the healthy fats as well. Um, read the blog post and you'll find out a little bit more about why it's so great for you. Thanks for listening. Speak to you soon. Cheers, bye.